What's up guys and welcome back to SoberTube. Today's episode and today's topic is going to be do meeting makers make it? That's an old school thing that you'll hear in recovery. You'll hear meeting makers make it. And I remember the first time I ever said that in a meeting in early recovery, my sponsor looked at me like, yikes, did you just say that? Did you just tell somebody that just going to meetings is going to make their life different? It's going to get them off of drugs. It's going to change the person that they are, that they think that they need to fill with drugs and alcohol just to survive a day. And later on down the road, once I went through the 12 steps, I realized that meeting makers do make a lot of meetings. And what can you get from a meeting? Listen, you're safer in a meeting than anywhere else. Um, and a meeting is a good thing to do. It's a good thing to go to. And when you leave a meeting, you will leave feeling good. And you'll be like, wow, I just heard a really good message. But once that wears off, you're still left with yourself. If you're looking to change the person that you are, and if you're suffering from addiction, you really need to change the person that you are. You just need to clean up the mess that blocks you from being the good person that's deep down inside of you. That can only be accomplished by doing the 12 steps. So you need to use that meeting as a place to meet a group of people that you can recover with. And once you find some people that you can recover with, grab one of them and ask them to be a sponsor as soon as possible. And don't look for the perfect sponsor, because chances are if you're looking for a perfect person in recovery, you're not gonna find one. None of us are perfect people. But look for a sponsor that's been through it, that's got something that you want, that hopefully has some sort of clean time, but most importantly, has been through the 12 steps and is living a good life. Meeting makers do make a lot of meetings and it's a really good thing to do to go to a lot of meetings, but dive into that work as soon as possible. Going to meetings is like joining the gym and doing the step work is like lifting weights. If you want to see results, you need to be heavily involved in your recovery. And I'm going to tell you this right now, coming from a guy that suffered from hardcore addiction, getting sober is a hell of a lot easier than getting high every day. Like this program of recovery might seem so challenging, but isn't anything in life worth doing, challenging? Isn't any accomplishment worth being tough? Isn't anything that you pulled off, shouldn't it not be simple and easy? But on the brighter note, it takes a hell of a lot more work to get high every day than it does to get sober. It's really just how bad do you want this? How bad do you not want to be who you are? How bad do you want to be a good person? How sick and tired of suffering are you? So yes, go to meetings, but do meeting makers make it? Listen, I'm telling you right now from my personal experience, I got sober and never relapsed. I have eight years and it's because I continue to do the work. I do the work and I take other people through the work. One dude helps another dude, helps another dude, and it's same for the women. My name is Brian. Get involved in your recovery. How hard are you willing to work to change your life? Subscribe and thank you for coming to SoberTube.